All right, so we back, episode four of Life is Strange. I'm excited. Episode three ended crazily with Chloe now being disabled. And we're gonna see how that plays out. <laughs> Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield, hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. The reaction is like, come on. I mean, I guess she was shocked, of course. No, I guess she was. But girl, come on, let's pretend. She was like, oh, like that's not nice. <laughs> that's not nice at all. Choose wisely. dark room. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. 
You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Well, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. Oh. Kind of Why is the Chloe sounding so calm? At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together... I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no <laughs> offense. None taken. That's so awkward. Wow. I mean, obviously if you have the power to change the past, you know, like, drastic changes are coming, but there's no way she could have predicted that this would happen to Chloe. Chloe is just not meant to be great. Like, wow. Pretty high tech layer. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. 
Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? <coughs> Snow globes are taking over. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. This is crazy. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. That's so sad. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Damn, that car accident fucked her up. Oh my god. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our heart and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan Vanessa Caulfield. Thinking of you. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Thinking of you. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. You know that I'm here for you. If you need anything, I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. XOXO Megan. I wonder when the accident happened. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Oh. <laughs> That's... I mean... You want to... Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. I feel like you would... Oh, the camera's so low. Like, you sent pictures to your friends, so it's not like that odd that she sent pictures of herself. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. What kind of control is it? Is it mouth controlled? Oh. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. There's the old Chloe. Okay, John, let me get this water. She's been coughing this whole time. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am... Trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. 
I know this is a dumb question, but are you lonely here? Yes, <laughs> dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. This tech must be crazy expensive. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and Dad are always broke, and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Ah, <sighs> here's the DVD. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Pirate power. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again, it meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Morphine injector. 
Oh, her room is the garage. Did they say that already? Oh. I think that was not paying attention. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. <laughs> Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Oh, I want to read their messages. Max, you busy girl? Avoiding homework, as usual. I told you I'd help you out. You never let me help. Okay, drama, stop. And you help me by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored that killer butt from you know who. FYI. Save me a bowl. Gotta bounce. TTYL. Come by my room tonight. That was 10 8, 10 10. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door's open. Love you. Oh, Victoria is needy. Taylor texting. Max, thanks again for taking me to my to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom is a badass, like you. Yeah, right. I cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone is about to die, so call me back. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still a little girl. Check your account. Don't blow all at once. Yo, 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 Max, you around? In the dark room, developing shots for the contest. Sweet. So no two whales for you. Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. Ew. Happy birthday, Maxine. We can't believe it's 18 whole years since you were brought to us. I'm sorry, I don't care about my mom. I'm sorry, my mom. <laughs> 
I don't really care. Chloe. Hello, Max. This is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon, I hope. Bye. Hey, Chloe. Maxine here. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to let you know I'm going to Black Book Academy now. I hope this is still your number. 327. She didn't respond to the message. It's so mean. 811. Max is back. Blackwell, this is awesome. You rule. Best of all, we can hang out. So you're still my number. Cool. I've got a buttload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me. It's been too long. I know. I'll see you soon. 811. What's today's... What's the date in the game? Hey, Max. It's a shame that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw that toilet paper at me. Oh my god, I was not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's mad funny. Why would she throw toilet paper at her? <laughs> I thought you were different. Girl. So you're gonna throw toilet paper at me? <laughs> Choices of food coupon, boss. No, I don't think Joyce's tips will cover all this. I can't see the photos on the wall. Okay, this is the way the camera's moving. Whoa. <laughs> Joyce and William never had a garage sale They po girl. Her meds are expensive. So I wonder where Chloe's old room is. I'm sure this is a total coincidence. No, girl. Yeah. At least we never had to hide from step douche. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money's nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. At least we never had to hide from step douche. I still regret not stepping in. Ugh. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I can't help with alone at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love on Dorothy. Oh, that's so sad. It's dark as hell in here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Nothing here. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. The 
bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. It's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? It is so nice to have you around. That's so awkward just walking into her room. <laughs> Joyce is already a super mom. Just going through her drawers. That's so awkward. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do it anyways. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Arcadia Bay Spinal Center, dear Mr. and Mrs. Price. As we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is slowly showing is whoa, is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. This accounts for her recent what's wrong with my brain? This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand that real that the reality. This is a joke. I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her change of condition. If you'd like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Best, Dr. Anton Fibes. Fibs. Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I... I'm lucky to have him.
Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Oh. This is sad. Finally, uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry, I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy and painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me, I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ooh. Ever. I should read her diary now that... I even mean, I didn't read her diary before. I just don't want to read. I clearly can't read from earlier. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. What's in her drawing? Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Gutless bastard. I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund. Even if it wasn't another reality. Black Oak Academy, the 8th of August, does not love and dear Mr. and Mrs. Price. As principal, I am in sympathy with your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class accessibility. The Shadow of Black Oak prides itself on making sure students with disabilities receive full compliance under the Americans with Disabilities Act. However, given the campus and buildings have all been constructed pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern renovations necessary to fulfill the, all the needs of your daughter and her regrettable condition. Sadly, with recent deplorable federal cuts in education, it will take many more fundraisers to fully update Blackwell Academy, but that day will come. Chloe is without a doubt an amazing student with great potential despite her handicap, and I believe she would find a more fitting rewarded scholastic environment at the H. West Miskatonic Institute in Bolton. They have a rich legacy of disabled graduates and I know that Chloe would achieve her usual academic leadership in more comfortable surroundings. With her standard GPA, there is no doubt that Miskatonic would welcome Chloe with open halls. I hope you will seriously consider the suggestion as I'm sure your daughter would prefer to attend a school that can cater to her many needs. In the same spirit, I would Awesome clothes, brochures for other potential schools in Oregon. If you have any questions, please contact my office. Yeah, I'm glad we took that money too. That was for what's the point of the You got me fucked up is what they got me. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Wait, what do you mean we can't do anything? That's unacceptable. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me.
Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. No, I'm sorry. Oh! Oh my god. Like, seriously, these decisions are crazy. I can't do that to her parents. No. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you. But not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me, like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go, and don't come back. Chloe. I am never leaving you again. Someday Dad'll get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. 
Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Kiss, now you're all over me? Hmm. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. I think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Absolutely not. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. close yet so far away we have to do three main things right uh, what things one decipher Frank's logbook Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the vortex club parties with Kate and Rachel and see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages three beat step douche Dan until he tells us about Frank Nathan and the dark room and I do have a gun now keep it in your pants We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of step crack. 
He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I... What was she about to say? Honestly, though, I wasn't paying attention. What am I supposed to be doing? That blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. Oh, I gotta go look through step douches. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. How did I salute you? David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Boy, bye. You broke up my family. If your family broke up over that little argument, your family was already broken. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? He is toxic. I do not feel bad. Max, you should not feel bad either. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. I promise I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. As per our discussion about new campus service system, Miss Grant has informed me that her petition was only one avenue of protest. While we initiate this new era of black girl security, we must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our, our students. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. I didn't need to run this camera to see the suspension coming. <laughs> she texted me and then laughed. Dear Mr. Madsen, I just wanted to let you know I think it's bullshit that what happened to you in this school has too many lib, whatever, metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm and you were in charge and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. I'm scared of the school. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy and without me it will continue to spread. Bye bye. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? 
Thank you, Ray. Your help on Nathan is appreciated. Hmm. I wonder. They're all shady. They're all shady as hell. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Okay. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Oh? Score. Back to Chloe now. I'm pretty sure there's no consequences of me leaving things like how it is. But if this was a real life, I wouldn't want the evidence to be there. So everyone. It's that. amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. I wonder how Kate's doing too. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Oh. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know, you should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? 
You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Oh, she's so happy now. Love that for her. I don't think get well is quite apropos. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Max said, not me. He'll be easy, though. <laughs> Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And you could bring Warren along, too. No boys allowed. <laughs> you are funny, Max. And right. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Oh, that was Kate's bunny. I was like, where did that, where did this come from? Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. I'm not reading that. He's full of shit. I just don't even care. <laughs> Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Gang gang. Period. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah? Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. 
No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. I had to clear away another batch of- Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. And I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. <laughs> Girl, move on. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. You probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Way another batch of dip. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end-of-the-world posters. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like the time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing, and now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. 
How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I was looking for Nathan Prescott. Mr. Prescott has no class at all. Hell no. Sorry, Miss Grant. You're an adult. You can swear, damn it. And I'm glad you did. So you haven't seen Nathan at all? Let's just say I try not to, Max. But I did catch him storming off campus. After what happened this week, I hope you don't see him either. You're not the best student here, but you... you might be the wisest. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. It's always good. Birds today. Sad. Makes me mad. How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused, like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. I don't want to talk to Samuel. <laughs> More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since All he right, was you suspended. Already know this. He deserved it. And more. Samuel tries not to judge people. But Nathan shouldn't be here. Maybe he's supposed to be here, though. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I... I think he sees you, Max. He wishes he could. Mr. Madsen has all the surveillance in the world, but he's still blind. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. That must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. All right. I'm, I'm sorry. done talking to you. I better get going now. No, I'm so sorry. I hope Max isn't pissed that Warren asked me to the drive-in. First of all, sweetheart, I let that happen because I don't want Max with Warren. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? I was distracted by Warren asking me out to the drive-in. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. <laughs> I did see him this morning heading off campus. Girl? He looked more angry than usual. So you did see I him? I wouldn't look for him now if I were you. 
No, she just pissed me off. Do we play with your drone? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant caved and let me fly her again. So take a spin. I have to see what time I'm going to the drive-in with Warren on Saturday. Okay, congratulations. Sounds, sounds fun. fun. It would be good for you and Warren to She's take irritated. a road trip after this week. Warren got a new car. Or an old new car. So I'm all about a serious road trip out of here after this week. I wanted to fly it. Thanks. She's so aggy, like, oh, congratulations, Zorn asked you out. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ugh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Oh. How's the weather? Um, I don't really know the weather because Warren asked me out. It's so lame they not code dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. I want a tea. You're right. What do you mean we have a curfew? Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Hey, if you're going to college and having a curfew, I know a couple people can relate. I cannot. Prescott rules this town. This can only be Nathan's room. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in a, an illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hope you'd, I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even if I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be good in my body. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenage adults. Hey, girlfriend. Let me know when you want to come by my room, and I'll give you a fashion makeover. Oh, thanks, Courtney. I'm swamped with homework now, but I'll check in with later. Thanks again for the offer. Um...
Maxine Pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl, as, I, as am I. We have no doubt sending to Black Widow was the best thing ever. And you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now to relax, maybe go to a high school around here. The door is wide open. Thanks, Pop. It's been a whirlwind. I'm not ready to come home yet. Talk later. Max XO. Max OXO. Hey honey, I just got a weird text warning me that the nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a block number. Oh, I'm sorry. Some jackass in my class thought that would be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Me neither. Sorry. I'm just being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. Hey Max, hope you're okay with everything. You might be busy, but feel free to call me anytime. Hey Julie, are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me what's going on. Besides everything, I was just curious if you ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in the RV around town. You mean a you mean a fan down by the river? I heard he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Why are you doing your own vacation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but don't keep secrets from Ace Reporter Juliet Watson. Hello? Mm-hmm. Oh, what's it? What the hell does that say? So I'm holes in my bag. Hey, Justin, you busy? Hey, hey Max, Max Wax. I'm busy blazing. What up? Do you know Frank Browers? Drugs. That's it. Ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? What's wrong with these people? Always. Okay. Max, thank you for the for my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. The only one who was there for me at school, the only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father's grateful. You'll be always be in our prayers. Love and blessings. Hey, Leah, I'm glad. Okay, no, I read this already. Max, how are you? I, I hope you can still visit me this week. I have important things to talk about, of course. We all miss you. Your buddy misses you. Yay. Super Max, in case you still need it, Nathan's roof number is 111. Okay, you're all so awesome. Thank you. I hope that you bring off the rebel in me. You already are a rebel. Trust me always. And please, please be careful. Promise, of course. I keep people sitting. I know you will. All right, mom. All right, nothing crazy. All right. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <sighs> Bastard. That's so cute and ironic. <sighs> I can't believe Nathan still has it around. <sighs> I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Let me destroy his room like he came into her room. Why is that person screaming? I, I looked over there come to these people in my actual building screaming, but well, that's in the video game. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Why is he screaming? Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your energy went into photography. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as stylish and inexpensive. I'm psyched about going and picking up some serious pate favors. <laughs> I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without a hassle. If you're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking on point. Right? We don't like you, Nathan. Shut up. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. 
Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this week has been I know this has been a stressful week. Your mother and I are here to talk if you need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estate is being developed. I know being a press cause a burden. I'll guide you into this room step by step, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This year, whole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the woman is right. Don't fuck it up, son, your father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome and far away. Too dope, I'm from Brazil. My little brother, it's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my coworkers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of the campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate. But I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power and not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove, sending out good thoughts. Better write back, or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your door. Oh. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. Mason, I'd like to apologize for the recitation. Your name and record speaks for itself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have assured him that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you distracted from school, and I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you have any questions, Fuck Principal Wells, and fuck the press gods, and fuck Nathan. I don't care if his dad put pressure on him. I don't Nathan care. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? His dorm is creepy. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Cool, now it's opened. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. Call me a ho again. Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> you are so fucking dead! Get off me, bro! Stop him, okay. Warren, stop it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go now. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. I don't nobody gives a damn about your father. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Oh, I stopped him because I didn't want Warren to get in trouble and get caught by the dad. No. I'm not gonna. Regret. I'm gonna let that rock. You know, I should let him beat the crap out of Nathan. The press got to be dangerous. 
Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Oh, Warren is so sweet. Friend. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole's gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? So they're just gonna leave them there to like rot on the beach? I mean, this is this. Shouldn't they just like drop them back in the ocean? Because whales die in the ocean all the time, so it can't be bad for the ocean for the whale to die, and there are sea animals that'll eat it, right? I feel like they should just drop the whales back. I feel like that's not a stupid thing to say. <laughs> Take the trash out sometime, dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, the Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money?
Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. Ah, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Ah, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any hand from that. me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me and then pulled the trigger. There were no bullets in the gun. We were safe, tough guy. There is something wrong with you, girly. You pulled the trigger because you wanted to show me how safe I was? I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass. She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my maker. And you little bitches I'm doing so you smart me? Why, because I'm trailer trash? You're Blackwell trash. And it's time to take you out. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! <laughs> You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? I don't remember that happening. <laughs> I just shot a man and his dog. She got some good aim, but oh my god. I killed Frank Powers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast, before the co cops come. Rewind time! What's wrong with her? That's it. Let's get out of here. Rewind time! I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. And only I can change it. Like, why would I leave him dead? Oh my god. I mean, fuck Frank, but... Okay, let's see if I can avoid him being dead. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Um... Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll... Try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be.
Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now what do you want? Just the names. Oh, is that all? Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you... Mmm... Which one should I do? You scared me? Helping Chloe, no bullets, our old hangout. I was like, you scared me. To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera, I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Oh... Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. Oh my god. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so <laughs> close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. He's so Understand? Annoying. Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. He's so now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know her. You're a like you did. man. I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always. Calm down, Frank. Let's just don't talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch. Get it. Step the fuck back now. Oh my god! Gosh! Yeah, you actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him! I know! You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... we just want the code for your account book. Now! You're fine! Whatever! Just... just put the goddamn gun down! You already shot I'm me, I'm leaving right? his ass shot. There! <laughs> now leave me alone, alright? Just... Just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance or? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Shit. This could have gone way worse, but... Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. <sighs> yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. <sighs> I'm gonna try to get the most peaceful outcome.
I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to get the most useful lock on. He's so annoying. He's so angry. Listen, Chloe. Max, I should... Please. You kind of love this. Frank. You aim your... Just the names... Oh, is that... Listen, Frank. Yeah, yeah, every... There's no time. Yeah, yeah, well... Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah. Frank, we didn't come here. What, you, you come in peace? To be honest... I could tell... I only... Look, Frank, Max doesn't even... We're cool. We're only here to talk... Shit, you... I love dogs. Period. I wish I had one trained as well as yours. Yeah, he had a bad trainer before. Real bad. But he's dead now. And I trained Pompadou how to be my friend. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? You and Chloe do not... What are you hiding, bracelet? Um, Rachel's photo. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is, not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. so chaotic like wow <laughs> I was not expecting that to be like that at all.